Detective. Judge, what are you doing in my private chambers? Just wanted a word. You know, I have an assistant for a reason. You couldn't make an appointment? You know how I feel about technology, sir. And waiting. <sighs> All right. Why don't you come out from behind my desk, and then we can talk. You know, I got half a mind to call security on you, teach you a lesson. Snooping around my office like some kind of fool. Oh, I'm sure Bailiff Jones would jump at the chance to put me in my place. <laughs> and half a Chicago PD, no doubt. Mm. So what can I do for you? I need a warrant. A couple, actually. Well, there's a process for these things, pal. I'm aware. Okay, what's the case? Taylor murders. Ooh, that's some bloody fucking work. So, how'd you get put on that one? I found our guy, Harrison. Hmm? I've got probable cause. I've got a direct connection to the victim. I've even got a witness that puts him at the crime scene. All I need are access to his house and businesses, and Bob's your uncle. Hmm. Sounds conclusive. Well, how did you submitted your request? I did. Last week. Last week? Hmm. Well, uh, haven't gotten it on my desk. Oh, you know what? Let me get my assistant on the phone. For I don't me. think that'll be necessary, sir. You see, I believe my request was willfully ignored. Well, that is quite the accusation, Detective. My suspect is Lance Richards, sir. You've heard of him, right? Mayoral candidate, millionaire. He's a pretty influential guy. Well, what are you trying to say, Val? Still like the golf, sir? How are those greens over at the Westmoreland Country Club these days? I don't think I like your tone right now, Val. Surely you've met Mr. Richards seeing as he's the club president? I have a few times. A few times. Now, was that before or including last Sunday? I guess what my question is, did you discuss my affidavit with Mr. Richards then, or had you already decided to ignore it before you even took Val, the Val, I haven't seen your affidavit. Cut the shit, it's in your desk. Okay, that's enough, Val. First, you break into my office, and you're snooping around and treating me like I'm some kind of a suspect. Now, I assure you that the only crime that I'm guilty of is my handicap. What about aiding and abetting? We're done here. What did you say to me earlier about teaching me a lesson? Tell me he's got something on you, Harrison. Tell me he's got you by the balls. Get out. Have you even seen photos of the crime scene? The Get whole fucking family, office. Harrison. The kids, blood, and Barbies, and fucking mayhem. That's enough, goddammit! I'm not some kind of crackhead on the street that you can come in here and just, just, just bully into a confession. I know my rights. You want to search me? Good luck getting a warrant. You want to arrest me? Take me in? There is not a cop in this county that would put me in handcuffs. Now that's where you're wrong. You better get your story straight. I'll get my warrant. And after I take down your pal Richards, I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Detective Val against the world. But that's how you like it, ain't it, boy? You're way out of your league on this one, Val. Way out. And what has you sweating? 